safety, and the conduit should be humming with power. Initiating boost check of mainframe. Warning, main reactor offline. Currently operating on auxiliary power. analysis plates a source of anomaly on the second planet of the Beta C Igni system. Specify our current location. Beta C Igni 2. Wow, we're on Dead Rock? The Dead Rock? Looks like it, yeah. 
Well, that's just fantastic. Of all the inescapable places in the galaxy, we had to end up here. I admit, it sounds pretty bad. No, this is way worse than bad. We're on the one planet that no one's ever returned from. Even the UN has declared this place off limits. Well, you're right. But there's nothing we can do about it now. Computer, damage report. Main reactor offline. Engine 1 and 3 offline. Hibernation chambers 1 and 2 offline. Hibernation chamber 3 non-functional. Hull breaches detected in cockpit, medical room and cargo bay. Carbon dioxide concentration and ship exceeding toxic levels. Wow, that's all? Ah, uh, it's not as bad as it sounds. Yes, it is. No, listen. We might have a chance to get out of here after all. We still have one engine intact, and the thrusters seem to be working too. But you need to see what's wrong with the hibernation system and see those breaches. Go and check the CO2 filter in the med room. It hurts like hell when I try to move, so I just stay here. But I try to scan the planet's surface for life signs. There's a syringe inside. It's full of fine leather jackets. The containers are blocking the way to the back of the cargo bay. They must have fallen down during the crash. I can't move them by hand. and seal the suit, but I don't think he'll be able to move anytime soon. His suit's med hack needs to take care of his wounds again. I'll just leave him here to rest for now. Oh yeah, and I broke the syringe in the process. Sorry about that. the containers out of the way with the steel rod. It's full of fun. There's a small crack behind that bulkhead. No use climbing it. The upper walkway is blocked as well. Opening hibernation chamber three. poured the beer down the drain. It's filled up, and now there's something floating in it. What a waste of a perfectly horrible can of beer. I 
can't carry a sample in that. I've unscrewed the tube. There's an adapter piece underneath it. a sample in that. It's supposed to be an examining table, but Johansson used it as an extension of the desk when he ran out of space while working on one of his experiments, but it's surprisingly tidy now. That was pretty easy. That turned off the ventilator in the medical room. The gas mask will serve as a temporary CO2 filter. I'll just have to turn the ventilation back on again. The readout says that the CO2 levels are starting to normalize throughout the ship. There's a small crack behind that bulkhead. The glue has sealed the breach almost instantly.
I think I should just take a look at it. There's a small crack behind that bulkhead. The glue has sealed the breach almost instantly. It's a small fracture on the ship's hull. I need to seal it with something. The glue has sealed the breach almost instantly. Did you get that, Novak? Have you seen all the sand out there? I doubt there's anything living on this dead rock. Ah, uh, I think I get the name now. Were they caught in the same crap we were? How am I supposed to know? I don't even know why we crashed. I detected no life signs, so it must have been a while ago. Anyhow, you'll have to visit another ship. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, I've been unable to jumpstart the reactor. There's just not enough juice. Plus the computer says that the patent injector is fried in engine two. Damn, it looked like it was okay. I never thought that one day I'd actually appreciate your enthusiasm for all things military. See? Anyways, see if you can find some replacements for the hibernation fluid, and the spare injector for the engine. And we'll need some extra power, so take that anti-fuel set from engineering with you, if you haven't already. Is that all? And get me a cheeseburger while you're at it. Okay, pal out. Large fries. Pal out. Knock it off, you stupid son of a bitch. I heard that. I know. Now let me get to work. The control panel that opens the rear loading door is acting up. The circuit must have been overloaded when I restored power to the ship. Maybe I can override it. I have overridden the controls with the electric wires, and the control panel is now working. Open, says me. This is Novak. I see you're about to go out into the desert. Now listen. Try to take care of yourself. You're my only chance of getting off this planet alive. I appreciate your honesty. Now, do you have anything to say, or did you just call to piss me off? Just a recap of what we need. A full energy cell and a spare injector for the reactor. Plus some sort of replacement for the nutritional fluid of the hibernation system. I knew all that. You really do like to play captain, don't you? I don't have to play it. I am the captain. Okay. I uploaded the coordinates of that other ship to your suit. Okay, thanks. I'll 
I'll get back to you when I have something. Pal out. It looks like the sand contains high concentrations of salt, Peter. Pow to Novak. Yes, what is it? Are these coordinates right? I don't see a shipwreck here. No, you're still several clicks off. Oh, come on, man. Where am I, then? Hang on. I'll check the terrain data. Uh-huh. It looks like there's a gorge that's several miles long. You'll have to get across it in order to reach that ship. Can I go around? Nah, that would take days. Try to find a path that's not too deep. Or build a bridge for all I care. Just get across. <laughs> Easy for you to say. Just figure something out. Will do. Pow out. I'm almost certain that this is not a naturally occurring phenomenon. They seem to be made out of some sort of smooth stone, stand about twice as tall as I do, and they look really creepy. Thank God they don't have eyes. Place the CO2 filter with the gunpowder in it at the base of the pillar, deep in the sand, and then packed it down with several large boulders. Wow, I must admit, I did not expect that to work. Pow to Novak. Are you seeing this? Yep, looks bad. It seems to have been ripped apart. It's possible they were caught in the same gravitational disturbance as we. But this looks like a Taurus class cruiser, the big sister of our morning star. Yeah, about that anomaly. Did you scan for it? Yep, but the computer is unable to pinpoint its location. All we know it's somewhere on this planet, and we need to get rid of it to take off. Otherwise, we'd be doing this all over again. Got it. I'll take a look around inside. Maybe I can find out what happened to these people. It's a so-called micro-lock. Works without electricity on a molecular level. Very hard to hack. I'll need the original pass card to get in there. shot has melted the control panel and the control mechanism behind it, but the door is still closed. I think I'll have to force it open. I managed to force the door open with the rod. Without the hydraulics holding it in place, it was relatively easy. Hmm. 
This log contains the coordinates of a camp in that canyon. I've removed the coupling. The plasma injector is still there. This one already has the remains of the bridge tied to it. Unfortunately, I can't go down to the ledge on this. Whatever I do, I'd better do it on the other pylon. The cable is tied firmly to the pylon. I can now rappel down, but the cable's only long enough to get me down to the ledge below. log mentions a distress call that one of their crew sent out from a crater. That should put the source in this area. Nothing there. Its lid is all bent up and crooked. It looks like it. Located a distress beacon at that small crater. It says armed.
I have tied the rope around the boulder. I have activated the plasma flare and have thrown it down over the edge. I hope there's enough light down there now. Great. It's glowing nice and red. The scanner's picking up gravitational fluctuations from the other side of the door. I need to get inside to find out more. I've attached the armed detonator to the door and started the countdown, but I'd better go a bit further away before the blast. Novak, this is Pal. Do you read? You're breaking up a bit, but I hear you. I might be onto something. I found a large structure with a generator inside. It's huge, and it's making me feel dizzy. Something's wrong with the gravity in here. I think this might be the source of the anomaly, an immense gravity well or something. I've been scanning the surface for hours, but I found nothing. I think this is putting out a lot more than our sensors can handle. Ah, I see now. This gravitational thing is confined like a tunnel, and both we and the Armstrong went through it. I think we might have skimmed it, but they got torn right in half. Listen, I'll put the safe course and set up the autopilot to get us out of here. Plot that course, and I'll get back to you as soon as I have the power cell plus the hibernation fluid. I'll disable this gravity generator just in case our tunnel theory is wrong. I hope these weird stone heads won't mind. They look creepier and creepier. Actually, they look just like you, Novak. Just shut up and get to work. Holy crap, that looks like a human skeleton floating in there. This table and its lighting has a striking resemblance to an operating table. I can't 
open it with my hands, it's screwed to the wall. It's three symbols. The symbols displayed on this unit look different from the other ones. The rest of the units seem to be running, but this one is switched off and it's empty. It's three symbols. This device looks almost identical to the one in the generator room, only this one is about a hundred times smaller. The contents of each cylinder seem to be floating in mid-air, so this could be some sort of anti-gravity generator. Nothing. Nothing. The symbols displayed on this unit look different from the other ones. The rest of the units seem to be running, but this one is switched off and it's empty. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing.
nothing. Nothing. I think I heard a cylinder go offline somewhere in the room, but I can't see it from here. Holy crap, that looks like a human skeleton floating in there. It's a green goo that looks exactly like our hibernation fluid, only a lot thicker. this table and its lighting. I wonder if this is the planet that was mentioned in the log of the Armstrong's captain. That storage cylinder is already offline. Nothing. I wonder if this is the planet that... Nothing. It's two alien symbols. I think they show the status of the cylinder I turned off.
nothing. Nothing. I wonder if this is the planet that was mentioned in the log of the Armstrong's captain. It's three symbols. Nothing. Nothing. I seem to have reactivated a chamber. Holy... Okay, that never happened before, and it creeped the hell out of me. This device looks almost identical to the one in the generator room, only this one is about a hundred times smaller. The contents of each cylinder seem to be floating in mid-air, so this could be some sort of anti-gravity generator. That storage cylinder is already on. Nothing. 
nothing. Nothing. I've had enough skeletons for one day, thank you. Besides, it looks like all this stuff is packed underneath him. There's a log entry on this card about a star system with a single planet. Admission time, 0850. This is a status display. The bottom markings are identical to those on the power cable. I have turned off the gravity well. A crystal lowered itself from the generator. is still on. I would get electrocuted. Nothing. I don't want to turn it on. I've almost got it disabled. Managed to turn off the power. The cons. Nothing. already off. The power's back on. What is it? I think we've got a problem here. What did you just do? Uh, 
Um, I shut off the gravity generator. Why? Sensors just picked up the airborne objects. I think you pissed off someone or something in there. I think they sent out drones to do recon over the area. How many are there? I don't know. A few dozen. Did they spot you? What's their trajectory? I don't think they've located the ship. Thank God we're on auxiliary power. Otherwise they would be all over me by now. Hang on. I got visual. Yep, they're flying drones. They're ignoring the ship so we're good for now. But I don't know how we're gonna take off with these things in the air. They don't look too friendly. Well, they aren't. We've seen the damage they can do. Remember that camp? I don't know. Give me a few minutes. I'll try to figure something out. Okay. It's a miracle they can't pinpoint my radio signal. Just lay low. I'll call you soon. That wasn't here before. Novak, are you seeing this? The Stoneheads are the drones. What? Then get out of there, quick. Hang on. I don't think it wants to attack me. In fact, I don't think it can even see me. Hey, then maybe none of them can detect you. You can walk back to the ship after all. Sure. Would you take that bet? No way. Nor would I. So I'll have to find another way to get back. Then we have to figure out how to take off with all the drones in the air. Right. I'll try to think of something. Pal out. It's not safe to walk around. It's a massive steel door, and it's shut, of course. It's a massive... I've opened the panel. I've disconnected the wires, but the ventilator is still running. I guess this is just a monitoring circuit. I'll need to override it somehow to stop the ventilator. I've overridden the ventilator's controls with the drone's controller, but the ventilator is still running. It looks like the board has power now, but it needs to send the appropriate commands to the ventilator's systems. I guess I should program it somehow, but there's no buttons on it. It's displaying an alien symbol. I've overridden the ventilator's controls with the drone's controller, but the ventilator is still running. It looks like the board... That won't do any good. I've worked out which pins I need to bridge, and have attached two wires to each one. Now I can send command codes to the ventilator's systems. is stopping.
Novak, check this out. It looks like a hangar or a repair facility. Probably. I don't think these drones are operational. I think I'm safe in here for now. That's great, but sooner or later you need to get back here somehow. Well, walking back is out of the question. I wish I could fly back to the ship like them. Hang on. Maybe you can fly back. Say what? Well, this is a long shot, but can't you take one of those drones and fly back here? Wait. Do what now? How big are these things? Uh, about three meters tall. I think you can fit inside. No. Novak, this is crazy. No. It's perfect and elegant. You just mingle with the rest of them and fly straight here. It's the perfect disguise. Okay. I admit it. It sounds good. But trust me, it looks a lot more difficult from where I'm standing. Well, that's kind of your problem. Appreciate the empathy. Do you have a better idea? Well, n no. Well then? Okay, I'll see what I can come up with. Pal out. There's an entrance to a hidden room behind these heads. electromagnetic radiation and power output versus time. Everything looks normal. Holy crap, this corpse is not human. It looks like it was stabbed to death. It's still warm, so it must have happened recently. Uh-oh, that means that whoever did this could still be around. I scan this drone, and if I'm reading this thing correctly, they are vulnerable to EM discharges. Novak! What's up? Look at this. This drone received a high-energy electromagnetic shock, and it knocked out its power supply. I think we can exploit this. Hang on a second. Let me check something with the computer. All right, I've got it. We can use one of the damaged engines on the morning start to create an EM pulse. The right engine still has some plasma in its buffer. Polarize it, and there's your EM pulse. Okay, but how do we trigger it? I haven't got that figured out yet. Anyway, you still need to get back here first, so we've still got time to think about that. Well, all right. But let me know if you have something. Pow out. I should move in close. I've installed the energy cell. I've removed the weapons to make room for myself in the drone. made some modifications, bridged the connections, and installed the servo controller. It's a mess, but it'll do the job. I hooked the makeshift scanner to the drone's systems. It's crude, but I think I'll be able to home in on our ship's location. I 
I managed to separate the two wings of the door. Finally! I pushed the stone head outside on the trolley. There's nothing... for takeoff. Hey, you made it. Are you all right? I'm fine, but I might have alerted the drones to our presence by breaking formation, but I don't know for sure. Don't start up the engine until I'm done with everything. I'll detach the engine from the ship so we can eject it after takeoff. Does the ejection system work? Luckily, yeah. All right. I'll repair the main engine, repair the reactor, check to see if the algae sample can be used in the hibernation system, and detach the right engine. See you soon on board. I'm not going out there again. Let's get out of here as soon as... It's broken beyond repair. Did you hear that, Novak? We can use this stuff to recultivate the nutritional fluid in the hibernation system. Sounds great. Keep at it. We're almost out of here. That won't help me separate the engine from the ship's hull. I need to cut the supports that hold the engine so we can eject and detonate it. The engine doesn't need that part. It's humming peaceful. I have installed the fuel cell. The reactor is ready to kick in. I've installed the plasma injector. The engine is ready to fire. I use the welding tool to separate the engine from its supports. Now it's ready to eject into space. No back to pal. Yeah? I had to combine the flight control interface while you were working. But I still can't move, so you'll need to hook up a touch screen in front of me. So I can fly the ship manually. Yeah, about that. Still no idea how I'm gonna pull that off. Oh crap. Now what? The drones just changed course. They're closing in on us. Get to the cockpit and install that screen. We need to take off now. I'm on my way. It's an endless desert.
there. Finally! Initiating launch! Wait! What about the damaged engine? We rejected as planned. What's the point? There's no way to detonate it. There's no time for this. They're coming. Worst case, the engine will destroy them. Well, it's, it's a long shot, but, uh... Hang on, what if I take a shot at it once it's jettisoned? Do whatever you want. I'm taking off. Alright, I'm gonna get back to engineering. Try to keep it steady, will ya? Fine, just go. Didn't I? No, you told me. 